I'm gonna show you how to take your still images and your videos to the next level using the Kim Burns effect in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. The Kim Burns effect is simply adding digital movement to your still photos to make them look more dynamic. This effect is super, super simple and it makes videos like this look like this, which helps tell a better story and it keeps your viewers interested. I'm gonna show you multiple variations of this effect, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So first thing I'll do is go up to File, New, Sequence, and then I'm gonna click on Red, 1080p, and then 1080p, 16 by 9, 23.976. Go over to Settings, ensure that frame size is 1920 by 1080, and then I'm gonna make the sequence name Ken Burns. And then press OK. From there, I'm just gonna drop all my still images down into my timeline. I'm gonna go over to the editing tab. And I'm just gonna break down each one of these individually. So the first one I need to fix the proper framing. So I need to get rid of these black bars on the side. In order to fix that, I'm just going to adjust the scale and just zoom that in just a little bit. This first one is going to be going from top to bottom. So the way that I'll do that is I'm gonna first start at the beginning of my clip and then select the stopwatch for position and scale. That's gonna create a keyframe for that specific position and scale. And then I'll go to the very end of the clip and then I'm going to change my position down towards the bottom. And when you play that back, it looks like so. The next clip, I need to zoom out just a little bit because it's a little bit too far zoomed in. Not too far, I wanna make sure those black bars aren't in the way but that's good about right there. So then I'm just gonna start at the beginning of my clip. I'm gonna select the position and scale. And for this clip, we're gonna go from bottom to top this time. So I'm gonna start by adjusting my position down towards the bottom. Right about there is good. And then I'll go to the end of the clip. And then I'm just going to change my position towards the top. All right there is probably good. And then it's gonna look like so. For this specific clip, I'm going to start at the beginning and I'm going to select the keyframe for position, scale, and rotation. And then I'm gonna zoom in with the scale just a little bit. And then I want to rotate it just ever so slightly. You can play around with rotation for whatever fits your clip. And then I wanna to go to the end of the clip now. And I'm going to change the rotation to zero. I'm gonna change the scale all the way back until we don't see those black bars. And then it's, when you play it back, it's gonna look like so. For this clip, I'm gonna start off by selecting the position and scale. I'm gonna back up the zoom just a little bit because I don't wanna be zoomed in that close to the photo. And I want this tree here to be the center of attention. So we're gonna start off, this is good about right here. And then we're gonna to go to the very end of that clip and then I'm just gonna zoom in the scale just a little bit. So about right there is good. And this is what it's gonna look like. This clip is a panorama shot, so I'm gonna back up the scale just a little bit. Just enough, no, we don't want the bite bars in there. But right about there is good. And I'm gonna start at the beginning of the clip, and then I'm gonna select the stopwatch for position and scale. And I'm gonna go ahead and move the position over to the right. Right about there is good. And then I'm gonna to go to the end of the clip and I'm gonna have it pan across to the left side. And when I play that back, it's gonna look like this. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.